Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Seven-year-old boy called by bad name for raising money for Trump's wall. There is nothing more sweet or innocent than a child that sets up a lemonade stand or in this case, a hot chocolate stand. But now that everything is politicized and children are fair game, the liberals will stoop to harassing even children if they step out of line. A seven-year-old boy was accosted and called Little Hler after setting up a hot chocolate stand to raise money for President Trump's border wall, his parents say. The child's name is Benton Stevens and he lives in Austin, Texas. After watching President Trump's State of the Union address on February 5, Benton was moved to raise funds to help build a border wall between the U.S. and Mexico. His parents are both active members with the Republican National Committee. Benton has raised almost $5,000 between his hot chocolate stand, a matching donor and Venmo receipts. That's quite an accomplishment for a seven-year-old. Unfortunately, according to his parents, Benton has lost his privacy after videos and photos of their son were posted to Facebook. People think he's brainwashed, his mother, Jennifer, said. Well, of course, he supports Trump because we do, and he hears how we talk and this and that. Call that brainwashing, but I call it parenting because we instill our values in him. Young Benton set up his stand over the weekend at a strip mall northeast of Austin. His brothers and parents helped him set it up. They made signs and brewed hot chocolate with him. Within an hour, his parents say, he made about $231. Tragically, he was forced to shut down after patrons complained to the store owner Benton had placed his stand in front of. What kind of petty monster does something like that? A leftist one. I guess some liberals, or whatever you wanted to call them, they were griping at the owner, of the store, and going in and yelling at him and slamming him on Facebook, his mother, Jennifer, said. All of this did not stop Benton, who is actually fired up by the responses he got from the public. He set his stand up again the next day and was harassed in person and online. He was called a little H-tiller yesterday, his mother said. A guy pointed at him in his car and then he said that we didn't like brown people. I don't understand that at all. What a JRK, the family is standing strong on principle though and vow that the money raised will go directly towards funding the wall. There's a GoFundMe page and we're also part of the RNC and we're pretty connected there so we will 100% make sure it goes towards the wall, they said. From Fox News GoFundMe donations can be funneled to the Trump administration through a category called Gifts to the United States for general use by the federal government, but donating to specific government projects is a much more complicated and unclear process according to Business Insider. In light of all the publicity surrounding Benton's border wall fundraiser, his father told Fox News that it's actually inspired some reconciliation across party lines in their Texas town. People who were originally very mean have started apologizing for what they said and sticking up for Benton, Shane said. He is close to $5,000 raised now and is thinking about doing a free hot chocolate stand for people from both sides of the debate since there are so many from both sides sticking up for him. The family should send their funds to triple amputee veteran Brian Kalfage for the We Build the Wall movement. They are already on the border and working on the wall. And I bet there is a visit to the White House in Benton's future somewhere. Hashtag we build the wall. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.